The race is on as Penelope Beckles Robinson challenges Dr. Keith Rowley for leadership of the country's oldest political party. But a possible threat to a fair election has already surfaced, and one which Ms. Robinson has brought to the attention of the party's council on two occasions. Several members of the party that have been coming over time to access forms and not been able to access forms to join the party. But the list is far from complete, and the time frame was of concern to this candidate. The Honorable Dr. Keith Rowley indicated that even in his own constituency, the, when he had gone through the list, that at least 50% of the people were there. Um, and it means that the process of having the list rectified, having regard to the deadline for the, for the, um, the first list and then the final list, and then the date of elections mean the timelines are very, very tight. When we checked the PNM's head office, an attendant told us there were no forms and we should check back later. Ms. Beckles Robinson intends to do things a little differently once elected into office. Her intention is to change the way the party is viewed and make it more inclusive and more representative of Trinidad and Tobago. I am looking at issues of connectivity with the people. I think that is one of the most important things for me as a person, looking at the issue of inclusion. I mean, whether we accept it or not, there are people who still believe that the PNM operates very much like a cult and that the PNM is sufficiently inclusive. Nomination day is on March 14th and the election is carded for May 18th. Urvashi Tiwarup 9, CNC3.